One of our colleagues, John Strait, said he waited over an hour just to get on the ski hill yesterday. Pretty yeah, crazy. You know what? If you get up early, I was up on both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, first thing, you probably get more runs in by 10 a.m. than you will wow. the rest of the day on those crazy. busy weekends. And you get a parking spot. <laughs> and you get a, even if you want to just go up early, get a parking spot, chill out, have a coffee, and then go. Out. That's <laughs> the way to go. do it. Uh, thanks so much, Mary. And speaking of snow, there is more snow on the way. Weather brought to you by Bell ABC Program Two. Uh, two. Uh, let's start by taking a look at where the cloud cover is and where we have precipitation. Currently, it's so fine, it's barely being picked up by the radar imagery. Uh, that band right there is an actual band. That's some dropouts in the radar, but the cloud cover you can see thickening up. We do have snowfall warnings posted for the area from Surrey up to Coquitlam and points east. So that part of Metro Vancouver, the eastern sections of Metro Vancouver, we're really looking for between a trace and four centimeters. I have two to four centimeters in there. A lot of that will get washed away as the rain starts mixing in around noon farther to the east where we will see an extended period of snow the snowfall amounts are going to be higher five to ten centimeters expected from Abbotsford out to the east through most of the Fraser Valley and the temperatures are a little bit cooler we'll look at that in a moment there's your low pressure center it's almost up into uh, northern Alberta up across northwestern territories uh, we are looking at the cold front dipping down from the north and that's where we're getting this precipitation from take a look at these temperatures crucial in this scenario minus one in Abbotsford Chilliwack Agassiz and Hope at minus two still zero in Pitt Meadows and White Rock a little bit warmer as you get towards downtown and over to Richmond and that's why we aren't going to see uh, maybe uh, much in the way of snow at all more so rain as the system rolls in this is it ramping up toward noontime that's 1130 in the morning and already backing off by about 530 or 6 it's a fairly fast mover it will still be a touch unsettled this evening where we could get a few flurries but other than that expect a clearing sky as we head into Wednesday especially Wednesday afternoon so as you head out the door this morning we've already had some flurries some sticking snow farther to the east. One degree will be your temperature at around 8 a.m. Feeling minus one, minus two. It's not super windy out there, but just be aware that the roads are going to be greasy and we are going to see some accumulating snow around the region, especially late morning commute and into the afternoon. Your full seven day picture coming up. Another storm system is in the forecast. We'll detail that for you. Now, Thor is going to have the traffic force. Are we seeing any snow on the roads there, Thor? Little bit of slick conditions in Abbotsford on Highway 1 there, uh, Michael, and thank you for asking. So we're just actually asking drivers to um, just pay attention and slow down up there. We're getting rain